Hi everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining. By this time, you're probably ready to start your Hertzsprung-Russell diagram, which we commonly refer to as the HR diagram. And this is simply a chart, or a graph you might say, of stars' brightness, uh, I'm sorry, their temperature on the x-axis, versus their brightness on the y-axis. Now if you think about it for a minute, if we plot the star's temperature versus, oops, versus its brightness, you might expect stars to obey a certain pattern. That is, you might say, okay, the hotter the star, the brighter it should be. And for the most part, you're going to find that that's actually true. But there are some exceptions, and we're going to, the reason we're doing this diagram is to group stars into groups that either obey that rule or don't obey that rule, and there's certain reasons for them not obeying that rule as well. Okay? So to start this, you're going to need a couple of things. First of all, you're going to need your HR diagram, that is this uh, this document right here, and this is a special kind of graph. The reason it looks, the reason the y-axis looks kind of funny is, uh, well, I'll explain it a little bit later. But um, it's not a normal graph, at least on the y-axis. You're going to need, you're going to need that, and you're also going to need this is um, this right here. This is on the should be on the back of that. It's the information about a number of stars that we're going to be plotting. Um, so you can see the stars have names. All these interesting names right here. Um, their temperature is listed, their brightness is listed. Now some, a lot of these are fractions and, and the reason we're, or the way we're categorizing stars is, that is their brightness, is we're comparing them to the sun. So our sun, if we said if our sun had a brightness of 1, then a star that would have a brightness of 20 would be 20 times as bright as our sun. That's the idea. So we have a temperature and we have a brightness and we also have a color as well. That's this right here. This column is the color that that, uh, that star actually is. Now you tend to think of stars as being just white, but they actually do vary in color. And these stars are these particular colors right here. Now you're going to need colored pencils because when we plot a star on the HR diagram, you're going to um, need to plot that point with that color. So let's see what colors we need. Well, we're going to need LB that stands for light blue. You're going to need an orange, or O, that stands for orange. Our sun happens to be a Y, that is a yellow, yellow star, and that's why we think of our sun as being yellow. Um, DR, that stands for dark red. So you're going to need a dark red colored pencil. Uh, LB, we got that already. Orange, yellow, dark, oh, there we go, dark blue. DB, it's dark blue right there. You're going to need that. Yellow, dark red. Um, got all these here. Oh, just regular red you'll need. Now, if you don't have a red and a dark red, maybe you can just make one. Use the same colored red and make them uh, a lighter. You don't press so hard make it lighter. Um, but just make sure those two stars have different shades of red. And uh, I think we have all of them except for the last one right here. This last one, W stands for white. Well, if you've ever tried to draw on a white piece of paper with a white colored pencil, you don't see anything. So I'm going to ask you just to take a black pencil and just circle um, circle that star with like a, a round black circle. That'll indicate that it's white. Okay, so these are our stars and if you have your colored pencils, we'll be ready to start in just a minute. But let me explain this graph to you. First of all, I showed you before that the uh, the temperature is on the x-axis and the brightness is on the y-axis. Now our sun has a brightness of one. That is, we compare all other stars to our sun. So our sun is kind of the standard, so that's a brightness of one. If it's 10 times as bright, it's got a brightness of 10. If it's one one hundredth as bright, it's got a brightness of one one hundredth and so forth. If you look over here on the far right hand side though, we have what's called the absolute magnitude. Now this coincides with brightness. The weird thing is, though, that the magnitude and the brightness, the magnitude, the brighter the star, the negative the number, and the dimmer the star, the positive the number. I won't go into explaining why that is, but that's just the way magnitude works. Our sun has a magnitude, an absolute magnitude, of about 5. Okay, We're not going to worry about that scale. We're going to worry about the scale right here on the left-hand side. Okay, the brightness as compared to our sun, that's what this information here is, the brightness that we're given. Okay, so we're ready to start. The only problem is this graph looks a little weird. 
In the x-axis, it looks pretty normal. Uh, looks like it counts down from the hottest, right? So this is hot, hottest right here, 26,000 degrees Celsius. Wow, that's really hot. Counting all the way down to the coolest stars, even 2,000 degrees isn't exactly cool, but it's cooler than 26,000. So just aside from the fact that it counts down backwards, um, it's a pretty normal axis. The y-axis is what's weird. The y-axis goes like this. If we count upwards on the y-axis, if we start at 1, you can see that that heavy dark line right there is 1, and then um, in between that and the next dark line, there's a series of kind of dotted lines right there. Those dotted lines help us count, and it goes like this. One well, fact, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit right there. Hopefully that'll help. Okay, we're going to count like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See how they actually get closer together? One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. So far, so good. Ah, but now it gets weird. So we count ten, not eleven, but we count ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. Okay, now we jumped up. We're counting by tens now. Now we're counting by hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, all the way up to 1,000, 1,000, 2,000, etc. Okay, this is called a logarithmic scale, and the reason that it goes this way is this is this is that this allows us to squeeze a lot of information into the y-axis. Otherwise, if we counted by the same scale, we'd have a a, a y-axis you know a mile a mile uh, tall. It works the same way when counting downwards as well. We have one right here. And when I say downwards, I mean down in, down in fractions. One, one half, one third, one fourth, one fifth, one sixth, one seventh, one eighth, one ninth, one tenth. Okay, one tenth, one twentieth, one thirtieth, one fortieth, one fiftieth, blah blah blah, one ninetieth, one one hundredth, and so forth. So every time you get to a dark line, you start counting by that next order of ten. It's a little confusing, but I'm going to go through the first, uh, I think, four of them with you, and we'll sort it out, okay? Now, make sure you have your colored pencils ready to go. Um, let's back out here. I'm going to erase all this stuff that I just drew on there, okay? Let me erase that, erase this, and we're just going to plot, um, we're just going to plot on our HR diagram, starting with star one. Now, when we do that, what I want you to do is when you plot a star, Plot that colored dot, put a dot right there with that colored pencil. And I want you to put that number next to it. So this is going to be star one, and we're going to need a light blue pencil. Um, and we're going to put a one next to that, so I'll show you. So the temperature of star Rigel right here is 10,000 degrees Celsius. 10,000, that line is right there, so that's on the x-axis. And on the y-axis, the brightness is 20. That means it's 20 times the brightness of our sun. So we go up here, we go our sun, that's number one. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, twenty, right? Because we start counting by tens now once we pass that first line. So twenty is gonna be the first line after the ten line right there. Put a light blue dot there. That's star number one. That's Rigel. I maybe I can zoom in there a little bit for you. Okay? So we count it up to ten. Right there, and then the next dot is number one. Uh, well, is is a magnitude of twenty, and that's going to be our star number one. All right. So that is Rigel. Don't worry about actually writing the names out. Just put the, the numbers there. Our next star is Ross. Now, if we look over here to the color, we can see that Ross is orange in color. So we're going to get a, an orange colored pencil, and we see Ross right here has a temperature of five thousand five hundred degrees Celsius. All right, well, we don't have a 5,500 degree line here, but we can pick right in between 5,000 and 6,000 because right between 5,000 and 6,000 is 5,500. So that's the temperature of Ross. But what's the brightness? Well, Ross's brightness is one-tenth that of our sun. Well, fortunately, we have a one-tenth line right here. So we can just count right up and right on that line, oops, right there. Okay, we'll zoom in a little bit. That is the brightness of Ross. That is um, 
That is one tenth that of our sun. Now make an orange dot right there and label it star number two. Right there, star number two. And that's it. All right, let's do the third one. The third one here is, oh great, look, it's our sun. That should be easy. Okay, our sun is yellow in color and it actually looks yellow to us for the most part. Even though it gives, it gives out all different kinds of colors, it's mostly yellow. So we're gonna uh, yellow colored pencil and the brightness, well that's easy, that's gonna be one. What's the brightness or what's the temperature of our sun? 6,000 degrees. Okay, so we need to go to 6,000 degrees temperature and we need to go up to the brightness of one. That's probably the easiest one to find right there. There we go, there's our sun. It's probably gonna be hard for you guys to see it, but I'm gonna put a three right there next to it. That's star number three. That is our sun. Do you get the main idea right here? We have our temperature on the x-axis and our kind of weird logarithmic graph on the y-axis that marks the brightness um, of these stars. I'm gonna do one more for you and then I'll turn you loose, okay? When we're done, we're gonna find that these stars uh, follow certain patterns. The last one that we're gonna do together is gonna be the star called Arcturus. That's this one right here. We can see that it is dark red in color and um, so get your dark red colored pencil or just a regular colored pencil that's red and just write with it darkly we see that that temperature is 4500 degrees celsius okay now again we don't have a 4500 degree mark but we can put a mark between 4000 and 5000 because that's where that would be okay now what's the brightness of it wow it's 100 times as bright as our sun so we're going to go up here and put a mark right at 100. Right there. Can you see that? So we have uh, what, it, it's 4,500 degrees Celsius, 100 times as bright as our sun. And we're going to put our number right there. That's number four. That is Arcturus. And this is a special kind of star, which we'll talk about a little bit later. So I won't, uh, I won't steal all the fun from you guys. I'll let you guys do the rest of these on your own. But when we finish, we're going to put these stars into certain groups and give them names. So I hope that helps, and I'll see you in the next video.